guys, it's Courtney and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about kind of stuff that they don't tell you about your first semester at college or just college in general and some tips and tricks that I learned last year that really helped me out. In case you haven't noticed, the quality of this video is a lot better than it has been in the past and I was able to get my hands on a camera so I am super excited. I'm hoping I'll be able to give you guys more high quality content, give you guys more videos and I'm so excited I plan on taking this camera with me for vlogging. Um, I did post an Instagram post on my Instagram. <laughs> And I'll link that down below. I posted a picture saying that a better me is coming and this is a surprise that I had for you guys. My first tip is that you don't need to buy your books before you go into your classes for the first time. This is something that I stressed out a lot on in my first semester and I wish I hadn't worried so much about it. I bought all my books for my first semester a week before classes and it's nice to get them early because you're able to get your hands on used books if they're available and you can also get like rentals and stuff like that. Sometimes when you wait a little bit it makes it so that you have to buy a new book which can be a little bit more costly but if you wait until you go into your class for the first time I found several teachers that I had for both my semesters said that they didn't require a book or that they rarely used it and some of them even had books that you could use in class because it was rarely used. There's also times where my teachers have told me that you absolutely need a book and we never actually ended up using it. Talk to your teachers even if you want to email them the week before and just like ask them, hey I'm looking into getting books, do I absolutely need this book? You can also talk to students and see if they have taken the class before and used their books. You can also find on several different sites around you, like I know there's Craigslist, um, Facebook has a lot of different garage sale type pages and a lot of kids sell their books around that time so you can kind of scope out those kind of things and see if you can find something for cheaper as well from the bookstore because their books are costly. The next tip that I have would be going to scope out your classes. You want to reprint your schedule. You want to reprint your schedule because there is a chance that your classes may have switched rooms from when you originally had your schedule printed. I drove up to my school and I would find out where the buildings were. I had absolutely no idea where I was going. I was able to find where the buildings were themselves and then look for the class. That way on my first day I wasn't rambling around trying to find my class. I knew where it was and I was able to get there on time and avoid the walking in three minutes late and having everyone stare at you. <laughs> Take advantage of tutors and teachers. They are there to help you and honestly I know you want to get out of there as soon as possible when your class is done you just want to leave but they really are there to help. Also get to know your teachers because to them if you don't speak to them, if, especially online, if you've never seen each other face to face, you're just another person. And if you're just another person or another name in their roster, they're not going to care. They are way more likely to work with you than if you were to just kind of slack off all semester and not ask for any help. They're the people who are teaching your course. They're the people who make the material that you are learning. So if anyone can help, it's them. Every teacher is different and they all have different teaching styles. I feel like in high school it's all pretty much cut out and dry the same exact thing. When you get to college it's a whole new world. There are going to be teachers who are wicked laid back, let you talk in class, they swear. And you have super strict teachers who don't deal with any of the BS and they don't care if you're late to class. They'll lock you out. You have to be ready to be, to be able to adapt to different teachers teachers and different learning styles. You're super optimistic at the end of the year when you're making your schedule and you're like oh yeah I can take this 8 a.m. class or I can take this three hour five o'clock at night class and it comes down to it and you're not a morning person don't take morning classes. I can't stress this enough because you're not going to get up to go to those classes. When you walk in on your first day, the teacher's going to hand you a class syllabus. At the very end of it, it's going to tell you every single assignment and every test, every important date, every class day off that you're going to have throughout the semester. It is super important that you keep these papers because a lot of teachers will not 
let you know when assignments are coming up. I recommend if you can either, I, whichever works for you, a planner, you can get one of those big wall calendars, anything. Just kind of jot down when important dates are. That way you're fully prepared. My first semester I was working full time and I went to school full time. I had absolutely no online classes and I remember I was booked pretty much every day. My math and my English and all that stuff I prefer to have online and I was really worried when signing up for these classes that I wasn't going to do the work because I could just blow it off. It was on my computer. I didn't actually have a teacher that was there to tell me, you know, hey, you really need to get your work done. It worked for me because I was able, I only had one class a day, every single day, Monday through Friday, and then the rest were online. So I only actually ended up taking two courses in person last year and I believe that's what I'm doing this semester as well. So if that is a situation that's similar to yours, I definitely recommend you checking out something like online courses. It's not like high school, especially if you went to a small high school where everyone knows who you are and everyone's known you since you were little. In college, I guarantee you there is someone out there who shares the same interest and the same likes as you and it's very diverse and it's very different. than It's a fresh start and you should treat it as such. You shouldn't take with you what you had from high school. Completely different beginning. People don't know where you came from or how you got here. They just know who you are while you're here. So just to have fun and put yourself out there. Alright, so I think that's it for my video. I hope you guys have a wonderful year. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below. I really hope you guys like the quality that I brought to you in this video. It means a whole lot to me that I was able to get my hands on a camera for you guys and actually kind of step up my game a little bit. So I, I always, every single video, try to do something a little different, even if it's just in the slightest bit. I hope you guys have a good day and don't, like I said, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.